Hello and welcome, Michelinu FM here, welcoming you to the great FM20 adventure that is Swedish Mafia. Look at this table, look at this game, this could be it for us. We are top of the league with two games left to play. We have six points down to Paderborn who we play in the final game of the season and we are 11 points down to Heidenbach. So we we are at least going to play the promotion playoff and one point today away against Braunschweig would secure us automatic promotion which would be absolutely lovely. It would also mean that we would get a substantial cash influx. Braunschweig have lost their five last games and we have four wins in five games which makes us the massive favourites going into this game. Since I saw you last we've beaten Jan Regensburg 2-0 very solid win after a theatre of brace and now it is crunch time. We have been pout and suspended which means that Joseph Beffo comes in no more changes than that Sven Sonnenberg comes in on the bench the same team as the last game except for that Wish me luck. We kick off this very important game away against Braunschweig. Their form is atrocious and this game literally means nothing for them. We come through early on and it would have been lovely with a goal from Theatre Arp after 20 seconds but you can't have everything. Herbie Kane has it, finds Nathan Baker, Clark is through on goal, oh what a save from their keeper, we've been looking fantastic in the four, first four minutes, five shots, three on target, Gomez within swinging corner, but Mane misses, or oh, he doesn't miss their keeper, saves, here they come, it's a free kick, but it doesn't trouble our keeper. Another chance for us. Gomez with the ball. He tries to score straight away, and the keeper almost lets it in. Gomez gets another chance, but he tries to cross it in. What now? Is that a penalty? Are we gifted a penalty? Yes, we are. In the ninth minute, we are gifted a penalty. Fiat Arp steps up makes no mistake he is on fire at the moment and if this result stands we are going to the Bundesliga fantastic goal from Fiat to Arp and as he scores Emil Forsberg scores for Köln against St Pauli Baker has it, doesn't feel dangerous when they get the ball. We approach, Clark runs with it, finds Brav out on the left, moves into the box. Not the best cross I've seen, but he tries to win it back, stresses the defender, and we can regain position through Chambers Coleman. Baker finds Clark, we move forward forward again wave after wave after wave and this time it is very close for Gomez after a lovely ball from Clark. Halfway through the first half and we are dominating them. Mane tries to find Arp, gets the ball back to Kane by Reuter. That's Gomez centrally. There's literally only one team on the pitch so far. Another chance for us. Bayreuther is close to scoring there. Gomez finds Mane, but this time it's not a penalty. It's a free kick for them. It's 
so I'm very pleased with how things are looking after 28 minutes we have really dominating that dominated them here they come through Becker but we win the ball they managed to knock down by Reuter but the ball bounces to Fieta up to Clark who finds Gomez again but not to go if we don't manage to extend this lead I have a bad feeling that we are going to get FM'd but a draw is still enough for us to get promoted to the Bundesliga straight away Gomez, ah, Giffa saves it he just sends it away, they don't even want the ball as I said in the beginning this game is it's worth nothing to them they are going to finish mid table or slightly better well there's a little bit of money involved but nothing more than that here Mane comes finds Brav who scores an absolute screamer was that even a volley nice cross from Mane fantastic finish from young Jaden Brav Abley absolutely lovely Mane crosses it in to Brav who just one times it 2 0 after 34 minutes and we are absolutely crushing them so we approach half time and not even I have the feeling that I wouldn't tell them anything else that, that I'm happy I am actually happy for once and as we start the second half hopefully that doesn't mean that we let this one go they get a corner hopefully this will be a unspectacular one <laughs> and they actually have a decent chance there I do hope I haven't jinxed this one keep it up guys make 2 nil, 3 nil, and I can start to relax Seamus Coleman loses the ball this is not what I wanted Yoha beats his man it's through but Freitel saves we've not been looking great at the start of the second half I knew I should have told the players I wasn't happy they don't want praise they want critique Freitel saves it again Let's shout something evil or can we shout show some passion and that's not passion that's just bad dribbling Poirier moves into the box but at least one lad shows a bit of passion here they come again what has happened with our play from, from the first half? Now we are being dominated. Kijevski tries to score but misses. And they come again. Lads, what's this? Pourier, Frickel saves. Pourier tries again. Back with it. Now you better wake up again, guys. There's still 34 minutes left to play. And we are not bottling this one. Fieta up, sends it into Clark. But they win it again. Mm, they counter on us. They really want that goal to claw back into this game. Don't you remember what I said, guys? This match is pointless to you. Just think about the party afterwards instead. I'll throw in an extra case of beer if you lose this one. And as I say that, Ngankan tries to score, but Frickl denies him again. I don't know how many times I've said it now, but Frickl has been absolutely pivotal for us. With 30 minutes left, we're going to get Clark off. He is struggling a bit. More life. More life comes in. Now the chance for them. Bayreuth gets it away. They come at it again. Or is this a 
counterattack for us. No. Sloppy passing from Herbie Kane. Bayford loses it. Now we are looking absolutely awful. Can I shout something else? Demand more. Money with it. Don't lose this. Make this a highlight for us. He finds Braff. Braff is through. Braff shoots. Glorious save from their keeper, Giefer. We are 15 minutes away from the Bundesliga as Fiat Arp runs with the ball. He shoots. Giefer saves again. Coleman with it. Finds Mane. Beat your man. He sends it in. But they get away. Win this one back, guys. They play and gang camp. Passes it back to Kijevsky. They are looking for space in our defense. They find it outside of our right back. And that actually amounts to a fairly dangerous chance for them. Nice save from Frickle again. 10 minutes left. Two subs left, let's use them. We get Gürkeres in instead of instead of Brav and Marcus Berg comes in instead of Pietarp. Bit of precautionary measures there. Don't want to get these players injured for the, the final game. One more chance here. Gyokeris with it out on the left. Tries to beat his man. Bayerite keeps it in play. Sends it into Manny. Who <laughs> misses. He inexplicably misses that one. That was supposed to go in, man. We approach 90 minutes and we pass 90 minutes as Ngang Camarades with it again. Passive defending and they score. Beautiful goal from Jessica Ngang Cam. But we really helped in that. Really, really passive defending. He's allowed to roll with the ball, beat his man, and finish beautifully. Time is over, ref. Blow the whistle. Frickl saves it and throws himself over the line. I don't really know why. They send it in, Baffo heads it away, and surely this must be over now. Ref, come on, have some decency. End this game. Gyokura sends it up to Mane. Mane has it, and that, <laughs> there he blows the whistle. The game is over. We are playing Bundesliga football next season. As we go into the last game, we are one point ahead of Köln, but we have six points down to Paderborn, which means that they can never catch us. Absolutely fantastic. This means that we will have a fifth season of this series, the final season in the Bundesliga, with a chance to recreate that historical feat from 2003, where six Swedish players started the game against Nuremberg. I'm going to tell them that was not good. But this is fantastic. Look at this. We are getting promoted together with Köln. And we are getting money. Not a lot. 2.28 million transfer budget and 240k in weekly wage budget. The Russell board are delighted by the unexpected promotion yeah i don't know what they've been drinking but if we were going to play bundesliga football in season five we surely needed to get promoted in season four that is logical if we look at the proper bundesliga this is what it looks like bochum are getting relegated hamburger sportverein are pretty much getting relegated as well and then it's a matter of hanover or augsburg to play that relegation game
Erling Haaland's had a fantastic season together with Jadon Sancho, but FC Bayern are winning it. Okay, I'll be right back and show you the result in the final game of the season. Okay, so we're back a couple of days later, and as you see, we beat Paderborn 2 1 after a late Marcus Barry goal. And this means that we win the fight to Bundesliga in our fourth season of this series, and I am over the moon. This means that we are playing Bundesliga football, which you already knew, but it also means that we are getting a decent amount of money 15.2 million jumps straight into our bank account which makes us a fairly rich club now 23 million in the bank and I must say that I think I have achieved the goal of giving us a healthy and nice financial status the board are delighted I am too we get those 15.2 mil and I will end this episode here I will be back for the rebuild that is inevitable again because you if you look at this squad we have one two three four five six seven eight nine players on loan so we really need to fill the squad up with more players for our toughest season yet I will see you soon bye hi McLean FM here under my infamous flight of stairs I really appreciate that you took the time to watch this episode that I had a lot of fun recording. I hope that you liked it and if you did I'd appreciate if you hit that subscribe button and gave me a thumbs up because that helps me out a lot. Uh, there are new episodes out on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays and then we also have the occasional stream on Twitch on Tuesdays or Thursdays and during the weekend I have sort of a weekly summary uh, blog post coming out. Uh, I know it's an ambitious project but I'm having a lot of fun with it and I hope that you will too. Links are in the description and on michelinofm.com if you want more information and before I leave you I have a few words to say. You are appreciated, you are beautiful and have a good day. Until I see you next time, auf Wiedersehen!